Hello and welcome. Thank you for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, then smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's look at CSS variables in Svelte. I'm using Svelte Kit to do this, but it does not matter. The same functionality works exactly the same if you were to be just using a Vite and Svelte. So let's go right to it. I have just a layout file and a page. Uh, the layout is where I like to do my base level styling for my application. So this seems like a good place to do this. And the easiest way to show you how to use a variable, a CSS variable in Svelte is just to implement a color picking component. And that's super easy these days. Let's just make an input here with a type of color and we'll give it a name of color as well. And let's give it a label so that we're being correct here and say pick a color. And then we'll add in our four. All right, let's make sure that that was there. Perfect, so here's our color picking component and we can pick a color. Uh, nothing happens at this point. So now, in order to make use of this, let's create a script tag up here in the top and make use of Svelte's binding functionality to bind this directly to a variable so that we don't have to implement any handler functions. Let's just do a let color. And then back on our input element, let's do a binding. Bind value to that variable. So now that variable is always going to contain the color uh, chosen by that color picker. Pretty sweet. And now in order to make use of that, all we need to do is, let's say uh, on this div, let's do a style equal to string dash dash theme dash color, and then the variable color like that. And then in my style section, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the background color here and add a VAR parentheses, dash, dash, theme. And there you can actually see the IDE is picking this up. So pretty cool. A dash, dash, theme, dash, color. It should match uh, the tag here. Uh, save that. And the default is white, but let's pick something. You can see there that it updates no matter what we choose. It is changing the color of our background. So that's pretty cool, I, th <laughs> I think this is pretty sweet. Super easy to implement and super helpful. Pretty cool stuff. One other cool thing, let me show you something else that we can do with this. Let's go ahead and put this back to what it was. So this is 242424. Uh, if you're not familiar with Svelte Kit, all that's going on in this slot is this is where the page is being rendered. As a child of this layout where the theme is this theme color is being set, we actually can make use of that color in that child component since it's uh, living underneath this div. So let's go ahead and do that. Save this and inside of my plus page.svelte or child component, it doesn't have to be a layout and it doesn't have to be a plus page. Again, all of this works exactly the same if you're just using a Vite and Svelte in a front end. So inside of here, let's say we wanted to say style the H1. Let's add a new style tag here, H1, and let's do a color. And again, we'll just put that var dash dash theme dash color and save that. And now we can pick a color for that H1 and it only updates the H1, not the background anymore since we removed that. But there's actually no code inside of this uh, other than <laughs> the setting that variable there and there should be a semicolon um, but this is super helpful i think this is super cool and really really easy to implement in svelte uh, i'm going to be making use of this in an application where i'm letting users 
choose the styling for the section of the website that applies to them. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with this and I'll show that application in another video but I just wanted to show you guys this piece of functionality because it's super cool to me. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did please like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts on CSS variables in Svelte, how easy it is to implement them. Take care and as always have a great day. Mm -hmm.